to be this week, so tens of thousands of your neighbors probably be headed to Atlanta's favorite lake this holiday week, Lake Lanier. Now, even though the water will feel really good because it's going to be cold, John Sherrick shows us there are dangers in the water that we should be really concerned about. And they said just came in one day and showed up, and a week later it was still there and it was starting to go down. John Barker with Lake Lanier Association has been fighting abandoned docks and boats for years. And you could actually see a petroleum sheen on the water. I mean, you could see the oil and gas leaching out. It was very obvious. He's cleaned up more than half a dozen in the past couple of years. He was thinking he'd gotten a handle on it, but as soon as he gets them hauled away, more take their place. And there are sets, and so now we got to struggle with, you know, how to get it off. The owner of this houseboat tells a familiar tale. She got it cheap from someone who was tired of the boating life. She pictured fun and sun. What she got was a boat that sank almost immediately, and she doesn't have the money to haul it out of the lake. You got to send in a crew. They've got to float it, get it on top of the water, and get the water out of it, and they got to get it to a ramp. And I have a trailer there waiting, and they put it on the trailer bring it up the ramp a little bit to where the boat can drain off, and then I pull it over here to find out what's going to happen next. Then you have to get a trailer to haul it to the metal recyclers. We have to bring them piece by piece. You have to pay them to strip it and recycle everything. And you're somewhere in the ten dollars to $15,000 range. That's a cost the Lake Lanier Association picks up with help from the counties and the state. This party cruiser went down Memorial Day weekend. Luckily, the owner hauled the boat out of the water in the last couple of weeks, so Party Cove is safe for the holiday. It's not just boats, it's docks that have broken free. The neighbors actually named it Beaver Dock. Remember this one we showed you last July. It had been there so long, a beaver built a den on it. It was just hauled away more than a year later. Pieces of jagged metal break off of the boats and docks and lie in wait for tubers, skiers, and swimmers. I think it's a huge safety issue. 